Hello guys and welcome to another video. We have this interesting question right here. x squared minus y squared is equal to 2, xy is equal to 1, and we have to figure out the value of x plus y. Before we start, feel free to pause the video and give it a try first. Are you done? Now let's get started. In fact, you can make x the subject from here and then substitute that right into this equation and then find y. But why don't you let us do math for fun? We have difference of two square right here. So in fact, I can write this as x plus y times x minus y. And this is equal to 2. We can square both sides just like this. I'm going to put a square bracket, square this, and then square the right-hand side. So that on the left-hand side, you have x plus y all squared, then times x minus y all squared. And this is equal to 4. And quickly, we can expand the left-hand side. We're going to have x squared plus y squared plus 2xy. Then I'll put this one in parentheses. Then with this one, you also have x squared plus y squared minus 2xy, and this is 4. Now, we know what xy is right from this equation. So in place of xy here, we can replace that with just 1. And in fact, if we do that, we will have x squared plus y squared plus 2 like this, times right here we also have x squared plus y squared minus 2, just like that, and this is equal to 4. Easy. Now, as soon as we put these right here into parentheses, we can clearly see that we are now dealing with difference of two squares once again. Check it out. x squared plus y squared plus 2, x squared plus y squared minus 2. In fact, we can also rewrite this as x squared plus y squared all squared, then minus 2 squared, which is equal to 4. Easy, huh? Now, negative 2 squared, in fact, this 2 is not affecting this one. So this one will give us negative 4. If it comes here, it will be positive 4. So on the left-hand side, we have x squared plus y squared all squared is equal to 8. And now let's get rid of the square here by taking square root on each side of the equation. But remember, plus or minus is very important. This square will cancel out this square root. Then the new equation is going to be x squared plus y squared is equal to plus or minus 2 root 2. That is square root of 8. Easy. I'm running out of space, so I'm going to get rid of this right here really fast. Now, remember, we are looking for x plus y. Now, we have x plus y, which we are looking for. I'm going to square it like this. And if I expand this, I'm going to have x squared plus y squared plus 2xy, just like that. Easy, because I know what the rule of this is, the value of this. Is right here plus or minus 2 root 2. So, in fact, we're going to have x plus y squared is equal to plus or minus 2 root 2. Then plus 2xy, which is still 1. So, we're going to have 2 right here. We are looking for x plus y. So, basically, we can take square root on each side of the equation once again and plus or minus is still important. This will cancel out this. On the left-hand side, we'll be left with x plus y is equal to plus or minus square root of, now I can choose to bring this one first, so that we have 2 plus or minus 2 square root of 2. And ladies and gentlemen, we can simplify this for that because we have so many solutions in case. In fact, I think four solutions or so. So let's write all of them. But before then, let me get rid of this really quick and then write all the four solutions. And I'll begin with the real ones first. The first real solution is going to be x plus y is equal to 
square root of, in fact, I can factor out 2 so that we have 2, 1 plus square root of 2, just like this. Then the second one is also going to be x, y is equal to negative square root of this, 2, 1 plus square root of 2, just like that. Sure, so these are the two real solutions to the problem. Now let's look at the complex solutions. For the complex solutions, we have x is equal to i square root of, you have 2 square root of 2 minus 1. Then the second complex solution is minus i square root of 2 square root of 2 minus one. So guys, that is pretty much it. We have four solutions in total. We have two real and then two complex solutions. I hope you found the video useful. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more. Don't forget to check out this video for this. See you again on the next video. Have a nice day. Take care. Bye-bye.